Hello and welcome to another ESL lesson with Natalia Schroeder. This is reading number three, Emojis by Celine Cooper. It will be read by Heather Bryant. Last week, the Oxford Dictionaries chose its word of the year for 2015, face with tears of joy emoji. Citing a swell in emoji culture over the last year, Oxford Dictionaries and the London-based SwiftKey, a company that develops keyboard apps for smartphones, undertook research to see which images were being most frequently used. They found that face with tears of joy, a yellow saucer-shaped face with an open smile and tears of laughter spurting out of its eyes, totaled 20% of all emoji use in the United Kingdom and 17% in the United States. Emoji, for the uninitiated, are small digital images used in electronic communication that are designed to express a feeling, idea, or emotion. Emojis are emerging as a language of the global elite. A man named Shigetaka Kurita, who worked for a telecom company called NTT Docomo, originally developed them in Japan during the late 1990s. The word emoji is derived from a combination of the Japanese terms e meaning picture and moji meaning word. Today these small images take on hundreds of shapes. You can find pictures of sushi rolls and burritos, hands clapping and clasped in prayer, sad and happy faces, hearts, cigarettes, wine glasses, and high-heeled shoes. They can be beamed all over the world by all kinds of people who may not speak the same language but can express complex ideas with a shared use of a simple image. It has been noted that the 2015 Word of the Year selection follows a recent trend from Oxford Dictionaries in highlighting words that are associated with tech culture. For example, the U.S. Word of the Year in 2012 was GIF, and 2013's Word of the Year was Selfie. The face with tears of joy emoji beat out a bunch of other contenders on the shortlist this year. Some of those include Adblocker, a piece of software designed to to prevent advertisements from appearing on a web page, and On Fleek. Extremely good, attractive, or stylish, a term popularized in 2014 by a woman named Kayla Newman as she referred to her eyebrows in a short online Vine video. Other contenders are the following. Brexit, a term for the potential or hypothetical departure of the United Kingdom from the European Union. Sharing economy, an economic system in which assets or services are shared between private individuals, either for free or for a fee, typed typically by means of the internet, think Airbnb or Uber, and Lumbersexual, a young urban man who cultivates an appearance and style of dress, typified by a typified. beard, typified by a beard and check shirt, suggested of a rugged outdoor lifestyle. <laughs> Guys with beards and flannel shirts. Okay. Languages are always evolving and adapting the needs of their users. The president of Oxford Dictionaries, Casper Grethwold, issued a statement saying, You can see how traditional alphabet scripts have been struggling to meet the not surprising... Don't move so much. ...have been struggling to meet the rapid-fire, visually-focused demands of 21st century communication. It's not surprising that a pictographic script like Emoji has stepped in to fill those gaps. It's flexible, immediate, and infuses tone beautifully. As a result, emoji are becoming an increasingly rich form of communication, one that transcends linguistic borders. In other words, or pictures as the case may be, emojis are a trend pointing us toward a changing language and a changing society. At the same time, it is important to point out that most people in the world still have no access to the new communication technologies, smartphones, tablets, computers, that offer these new linguistic shortcuts. That is why... This is why. This is why, in a strange way, these little electronic images may already be emerging as a language of the global elite. I wonder if there is an emoji for that. That's the end of the reading. Good job, Heather. Thank you.